Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out here in the nether on the Citadel server at the gold farm, which is where I logged out yesterday. I haven't moved. Um, I have not been AFK. I, uh, I started um, into the world just about five minutes before the stream started and I thought, you know, I'm just going to hang out here and grab a couple of levels because uh, all of our gear is repaired and we can walk back to West Hill now. But uh, I thought while we were saying hi to everybody, I could pick up a couple of extra levels as I might need them to rename things or do the little shulker box stuff. It's always nice to have a few levels around when you need. Mind Trip Media with 100 bits kicking off the stream. Thanks ever so much. Good to see Cosmic Dancer, of course. Moderator extraordinaire. Blast Jordan, Obu, and Wafer Knight are all kicking around in the chat as well. Good to see the regulars. Wait for night. Good to see you back so often. It's uh, it's fun to see new regulars crop up in the community. So I'm not overly married to sitting here and doing nothing. So we'll just go collect our gold and see what's up. I was thinking after watching some Hermitcraft, it would be fun to hook up some auto crafters here. And instead of just making uh, ingots, we could actually, if we could stock this up with carrots somehow, then we could have like the immediate reward and what's mo mo most of this gold is used for is is golden carrots so it would be pretty cool to be able to um just have the golden golden carrots made automatically uh i don't know if we can farm carrots in the nether we might be able to we might be able to It would be slow, I would imagine. Oh, we're at a stack. We need to empty this into our gold chest when we get back to Westall, I guess. I'm gonna have to fix my bow. It's another thing I might need some extra levels for. Cosmic Dancer gifted a tier 1 sum to Wafer Knight. Wafer Knight, with that gift sub, you can now join the Discord. Just connect your Discord and your Twitch accounts. And look for the Joel Duggan Discord in the Connections tab in your Discord options. And Mini Packs, a 12-month gift subscription, courtesy of Cosmic Dancer, has entered the 7th month. Hello, hello, Mini Packs. Thanks for the shout-out for Cosmic. Cosmic, thank you ever so much for the lovely full year of subscription for mini packs. Let us know if you have any trouble connecting way for night. Twitch has been twitchy lately. So I think today we'll we'll pick up where we left off with the um the crossroads. I feel like we could probably add another path. Maybe add a custom tree. I've got an idea for the um, the street lamps. I think I want to sort of slowly transition them from being the fancy street lamps that are outside of West Hill down to something a little bit more rustic. So that when it's outside of a farm, it doesn't look so, so fancy. Just drag a villager to the XP gold farm and let them harvest carrots. I think that's my plan, sweet Sandy. That would be how I would think about doing it. That would be how I would think about doing it. It's going to be dark in the overworld. I really need to sort out better paths along here. And that's a hype train also. Thanks very much for that. That kicked off with mini packs, but then Mind Trip Media gifted a sub, and that went to who did that go to? Hello, and Rose got a gift sub from Mind Trip Media. Hopefully, you just heard the spiel about connecting your Discord and Twitch and getting into the Discord. Sweet Sandy, good feeling bits, one hundred bits. Thanks so much, Sweet Sandy. Jumping in on the hype train, it's a tier one sub, prime sub, or one hundred bits to participate in the hype train. And then you will get access to 
Um, emotes. Oh, you didn't last very long. Uh, I'm seeing some new graphics at the top of the hype train. There is GR and SW. I think that's for Grandpa Crafter and Sweet Sandy, like first initials. Yeah, okay. That's interesting. It's Grandpa Crafter with 200 bits coming into the the hype train. Thanks very much, Grandpa Crafter. We might have to shorten your name, Grandpa Crafter, to like G GC or something. Looks like how YouTube does on their streams now. Oh, I see. It's odd that it just give you gives you the first two initials because like it's no help at all. <laughs> like I'm not going to be able to figure out who that is from the first the first two initials. It's odd. So sort of like what we have, um, like that's a dock thing, but more rustic street lamps along here, I think at night would be cool. We could maybe tuck them into the sides here and there. They wouldn't be quite as often, quite as frequent. And I think like ha having one near the farm road entrance would make sense. Probably having one at the top of the hill here. Like there. And my guess would be top of the hill, somewhere around here. And then somewhere just before this road. Maybe like somewhere around here would be good. How far are they away from the road? Usually there's just a block. Yeah, so I feel like we can maybe put one. I don't know. We'll have to figure out whether where we want to put it. And I might do a proper sign for this road because this is like, oh, I have to change my map. It's now doing cave settings. Uh, auto? Auto, I guess. Yeah, we've got this little road that goes up here. CJ, good to see you. Insane value, welcome back. Just another minute left on a level two hype train if anybody wants to jump in. So yesterday we finished this little offshoot path just for, for probably foot traffic. People that are walking would take the shorter route. And we have another one over here. And then we have this one here. I think what I wanna to do today is this is meant to be like a quick idea for someone that might want to pull a wagon over it might be worth actually building a wagon there that could be kind of fun uh, but something i thought i would do would be probably have a path from here oops wrong button and have it curve out and connect there and this one we can probably have a better job curving it it won't be quite such a straight line so i think i'm going to connect it to about there and we'll start it basically where i'm standing so i'm probably going to get rid of that so we'll get ourselves geared up for that. Put down the other things. Put the bed back. Put this back. Uh, oh, can't do that just yet. Satchel. Uh, 
We'll leave the scaffolding. I don't need that or that. We'll grab that. I will get the dirt things that I need. We're gonna need some more mud. More packed mud, I think. Guess I could have just used those from there. Yeah, well since we're here and I get a, I have to go get more packed mud, let's do this. That should be good. Just move this back to the keep. Uh, pancakes are always good. Wait for night. I don't think that I've made the connection that you were in the Spongebunks chat this morning, too. That's awesome. Thank you ever so much for watching the stream and supporting the Spongebunks. For, th for those that don't know, uh, today was the patron hangout for Spongebunks, uh, where Johnny and I go over all the facts and figures, the download numbers, uh, YouTube figures, that kind of stuff. We don't discuss uh, YouTube-like earnings, but... Uh, we were transparent about um, Patreon earnings because that's a public-facing number. So if that kind of stuff is if in, if, of interest to you and you are a patron of the Spawn Chunks, you can always go and listen to that later. Ah, mud. There we go. I should just make a couple of stacks. Uh, but the pancakes are always good. Yeah, I, I have a homemade recipe, which I think I've shared with the Discord. I don't know if it's bookmarked anywhere, but I know I've shared it before. It's just a twist on a recipe I found online for homemade buttermilk pancakes. So it's not uh, an instant mix, but I quite like it. All right, so we can put this road here, I think. Makes sense that it might leave from here. I wanted to connect it to here, I think. No, here. Not bad for first try. I think we'll just go a little bit farther on this end. I think that's probably going to be good. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Okay. 
Pancake recipe is pinned in the Food Driven Human channel. Ah, that would make sense. That would be an excellent spot for it. Mini packs, you've got some neighbors cooking curry. A little too early in the day for curry to make me hungry, but I can appreciate when someone's cooking something good in the neighborhood. I was joking today on Instagram that we've transitioned from fake spring here uh, in Nova Scotia, which is snow, to uh, brown, which is the current season. The ground, the trees, pancakes, all matched. It was all brown. I think that makes a lot of sense. I might tweak it a little bit further, but I think that's a pretty good pretty good first pass. Might make this just a little bit smaller to start. So it feels a little bit too sharp here. So that correction I made actually is not the best. Also, I think I want to continue. We're going to go with two here and then three. Or maybe two. And then on this side, we'll change it up. a little smoother they're not meant to be super wide We were having a fake summer. I'd take that over fake spring. It could be third winter tomorrow, yeah. I the climate change the last few years has been really, really messy. You know, uh, we don't really have much of a spring here. It, it's basically cold and wet until the end of May, and then June is just like warmer but rain. And then all of a sudden it's like 40 degrees. It's it's really wild. It used to be a lot more subtle and i think that's one of the biggest problems that i think people we like the public has conceptually with climate change is that people think that climate change just means that the world is getting warmer when sure it's getting warmer in some places but the real issue is is um extremes in in either direction and the fact that the planet is warming up is affecting the oceans and that is affecting the weather patterns and and the extremities of those weather patterns right and it's not like you you probably if you've been following long enough you probably realize that it used to be called global warming and now it's called climate change because it's not necessarily all about warming as it as it once was when they were first talking about it right oh yeah as a kid seasons were seasons absolutely Spring and fall were always my favorites because I don't like it when it's super cold and I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the heat either. I get very uncomfortable when it's too warm.
Oops. So this is going to be terribly different compared to what we did just yesterday. Elkhorn, the mighty Elkhorn, hello. Every year now we have unexpected heat waves, and I think people call them that because these it's easier to assume that they are a freak than realize that they are the new norm. Oh yeah. I in the last five years we've been hitting, you know, the the forties with the human X and stuff here in the Maritimes, and that's just unheard of. It's just it never gets that hot here. I mean, that was the kind of thing that would be usually in the, the southern states or the only other time before the heat wave started happening here along the coast with the humidity that i've ever experienced 40 degrees plus was in the desert in utah in june which is that i mean that's what you would expect you know for the desert in june It's funny how that moss just makes that little bit of difference. It makes it feel more trampled, I guess. Maybe I don't want to do that log just yet. Let's see if we can sneak some gravel in over here. Would be nice. It's Physics Jim. Welcome in. Thanks for the follow. Starting to get a good feel for what these are going to look like, I think, now that I've done a few of them. Also try not to overdo it. Flux says that uh, they've been getting heat waves pretty bad. State isn't the worst for them, but it's pretty bad right on. Do you mind if I ask what state you're in, Flux? You don't have to be specific if you don't want to. Uh, Andesite. Texas. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, uh, Brockett, my, one of my co-hosts on Citadel Cafe, lives in Texas. Am I making a desire path? I don't know what a desire path is. Stone over here, I need to use too. Yeah, I've uh, I've only ever flown through Texas. I've never actually been. I've never spent any real time in the state. I'd love to go for some barbecue. Sure, if that's too even. Oh, I know what I could use there. Acacia log. That's better. Yeah, I don't think I need to over overdo it too much. This feels like a lot of coarse dirt. Yeah, that's not bad. Just curious to see if how this would look. Uh, a path that isn't laid out by the designers, but trampled by people. Ah, yeah, fair enough. Highway for students, nice. This box. I do kind of like that there. I just don't like these pressure plates right up against the uh, carpets for whatever reason. It looks weird to me. Well, hello. Just as my inventory got full. Do, 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 do. Obsidian would be fun. I don't know if we've done the ender chest thing before. Time to make a list. Time to make a list. So we'll do... I don't really think I care about sticky pistons, but maybe we'll get them anyway. So, Sticky Pistons, Cobbled Deep Slate, Prismarine, Obsidian, 
ender chest. Deep slate coal ore, that's cool. I don't like the look of the sea lanterns, so... Not a big... Well, maybe I should get them anyway. Sea lanterns. Tube coral. Raw iron block. Definitely want soul sand because it looks like a cake or bread or something. And red sandstone. Wow, that's unique. Uh, we'll get the iron ore. I mean, really, I'm just going to get them all. Except for nether gold ore. Nether wart block. Amethyst. Lime concrete. Well, and I don't want the dirt either. <laughs> don't want the dirt. That's a lot. Okay. Sticky piston. Cobbled deep slate. Prismarine. Obsidian. Ender chest. Deep slate coal ore. Sea lantern. Tube coral. Raw iron block. Soul sand, red sandstone, iron ore, nether wart block, amethyst block, lime concrete. My goodness. Thanks for the lurk, insane value, appreciate it. We're just going to toss all of this in here for now. So it's easy to get back later. So, I think I've got ender chests in the keep. Obsidian, we've got here. Well, that's the lime concrete. That's that done. Obsidian. It actually might take a couple of seconds here to get this all sorted. Sticky pistons. Anything else from in there? No. Don't know where the closest water is outside of the river. Uh, prismarine and sea lanterns we can get easy enough. Sea lantern, prismarine. I'm going to have quite the collection by the time we're done in West Hill. Uh, Nether wart block. I've got that there. See, some of these I think would make really cool custom plants in a sci-fi area, so that's why I'm stocking up on these. Tube coral. Raw iron block. Don't have that here. Soul sand was probably in there. Actually, you know what? I think I've got soul sand over here too. Soul sand. Red sandstone. I don't think that's in here. Nope. Now we've got to pop back and get the other stuff, I think, out of the uh, out of the keep. So deep slate coal ore, I don't even think I have that. No, I don't have any deep slate coal ore. Wow. I do have lots of regular ore though. Cobbled deep slate would be here. Ender chest would be over here. 
All right, thanks again for the list, Cosmic. So Obsidian, Let's just make this all easy to grab. Obsidian, Ender Chest, Sticky Piston, Cobbled Deep Slate, Prismarine, Deep Slate Coal Ore I don't have, Sea Lantern, Tube Coral, Oh, raw iron block. That was in my iron chest, I think. That's outside. So raw iron block would go there. Soul sand. Red sandstone. It was a polished one too, wasn't it? Can't remember which one of these it was. Uh, iron ore, another wart block, and lime concrete. All right, so it's just the raw iron that I'm missing. Wait for night, it's a rare ore. Yeah, no, I believe it. That's right up there with uh, Deep Slate Emerald, I think. Hobo Skunk, good to see you. Hope you're having a good Saturday. I'm sure I've got some of these already, but I don't mind stocking up. Oh, ore block, sandstone. It is just regular sandstone. So the ore, the iron ore block. I think my iron box is out here. Yeah, there it is there. I tend to have similar blocks in, in different shulker boxes. Cool. Wasn't too painful. Then we're going to scoot over to the other storage, put that away. West Hill is big, but it's just the right si sort of size and that one rocket will kind of get you from one end to the other without too much fuss. that's it and then we can get all of this stuff back in the inventory uh not that though turing 79 hello
don't need or want any of that. Alright, back to the task at hand. That works pretty well. Try to throw in some carpets to give it a little bit more of an edge. Pretty good. Oh, not there though. Frames it pretty well. Uh, do we not care for wandering traders? They have their purpose. I find that they just get in your face when you're doing a two or three hour stream and they're constantly honking at you. I, I just have no time for it. I think after they've, I think after you've traded with them, they should wander away. I get why the AI gets them to wander right up to you because the idea is that you don't want the player to miss the opportunity to trade. So I, I know why they're programmed that way, but once they've kind of been here, it's kind of nice, I think, for them to, to mess off. So I think what I might do here, this is this is a one particular part of the road that I'm not entirely sure of. I feel like this thing feels more like a roundabout rather than a crossroads. So I'm considering making this a sharper corner. So I'm going to get some stone bricks. I'm just wondering if it might be better to punch this up a bit. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we'd have to do some different stuff here. That feels a little bit less like a roundabout. We could even take this up a little bit as well. I guess that would mess this up a bit. I think that's too thin. Uh, free leads. Uh, Hobo Skunk, I have been playing in this area so long I've got like two stacks of leads. So yeah, that's 
It's one of the, like, I basically, outside of the mini blocks, which is a data pack, I don't really have any use for the Wandering Trader. I guess this could curve up a little bit. I think I just need to smooth this part out. Can't do it in the dark, though. Yeah, I think if they had that in the in the vanilla game, the the way that the data pack works, I think that would be something fun. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. How does that look? That looks okay. It still feels weirdly wide down here. Maybe it has to go up even farther. That feels weird here. I find I get bent out of shape out of like really long sections all in a row with no changes. But sometimes it is what ends up looking the best. And this is that game I mentioned last time of the block being a full meter and it just you want a half meter change and you just you don't have the opportunity to do it i think what i can do here is bump this up farther
Yeah, this is not the best shape. It's almost like it would be better to have this go in the other direction. We could just have this be eliminated altogether. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. And then this would be the spot where there would be normally a lot of stone. Yeah, I think I like that better. Where's that acacia when you need it? Maybe there would be better. Pyro, Axlotl Dragon. That's a fun username. Welcome in. Thanks for the follow. Break time when you race this cosmic. Thank you. I feel like that's working pretty well. I need to work on what's actually happening here. It'll make more sense maybe when there's a, a wagon in there. We can mess around with it more. Feels very checker pattern right now, which I'm not a big fan of. I'm just wondering if maybe there's too much gray happening in here. Yeah, that seems to be helping. Yeah, that was done a long time ago before I was working with a lot of these blocks. In some cases, probably done before mud was even in the game. So we might have to revisit that. This feels pretty good. I think there's just a few more details along the edge that I wouldn't mind doing. But I should go take that break before it squeaks by. If you're new to the channel, I take this break about once an hour. It gives me a chance to reheat the old coffee and uh, do a few more things behind the scenes should I need. And you get a chance to grab yourself a snack. Maybe let a friend know that we're streaming. Word of mouth is one of the best ways to help your favorite streamers. So spread the word. I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
Hello, creeper sitting there next to all the fancy landscaping that I just did. I missed him. Where was that skeleton? Oh, I see him. No. Dang it. Well, at least it was only stone. You were just chilling out here in the bog, not burning up in the sun. Yeah, I'd say overall this is working out pretty well. So here's a good situation where I feel like that wasn't really working. Maybe we have to change this out. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Gonna need more of those too. One dot twenty one early with the bogged. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's trying to be a bogged. I don't really care about the new bogged. I mean, it's I guess it's cool they're adding them to the game, but like, there's no way to do an automated mushroom farm with them, as far as I can tell. Unless someone knows better. So now, as I did yesterday, I'm just kind of using some of this texture here to try and push people towards the more interesting thing. You can shear them for mushrooms, but then you can't create bogged. I think what's missing is similar to how if you drown a zombie, it turns into a drowned. Because then you could have like a zombie, like a, a skeleton farm, drown the skeletons, turn them into bogged. Then you could shear them and then kill them and then have bones and mushrooms. You can get poison arrows from the two turning, but but yeah, you can shear them once and I think they shed the mushrooms that they have on their head. A little bit too distracting, maybe. 
those two pieces together. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. So I'm trying to keep it as like this is the wagon stop and then this path is kind of like its own separate little thing. And then over here we had the light and the bushes and I guess we probably need another street lamp over on this side really. Um, if we want to add the spawn stuff but what's more than likely a better way to do it would be to have our own like a, a, a street light for here for the wagons maybe would make sense. Something there actually helps. We might be able to do it here to help further separate the idea of this wagon stop and the path. Oh, well, that feels a little close. That's probably the better way to go. We'll figure out what textures and stuff is going to be part of that. Could certainly do with some bushes, probably. Again, just something to help frame the entrance of this, just kind of push the player in one direction. Probably easier just to stick with the existing mushroom farm designs. What are the existing designs? You just bone meal it and chop it down? Just ran out of something. I don't remember what it was. Oh, grass. Getting low on grass, too. Missing all kinds of grass in here. I guess I just haven't really thought about finishing that up much. Mushrooms also be produced naturally in dark enough places. Yeah, there's that too. There's, I'm sure there's probably like another, another design for that kind of stuff. I think mushrooms grow in the nether more frequently or something. It's been so long since I've needed to do that kind of stuff. I just don't remember. All right, well, let's see if we can figure out what to do with that design. I don't mind that log, but I think I'm going to go with more stone. I just don't want it to be exactly the same as these.
You like that the flower is still there and seems to be staying there? Yeah, that's been there a while. That's been there a while. Dark oak fences. I guess we'll just take what we need. I think I wanted this to be a little bit smaller. How do we do this and make it smaller? Because I can't attach the lantern to the fence gate. I guess I could just do the one trap door. Dragon of Old War. Welcome in. So maybe instead of two, we'll just do one. Can't reach. That way it doesn't look like a proper street lamp. I wonder if we could differentiate, differentiate it farther by changing the top slab to spruce. No, I never use scaffolding as a building block. I don't like scaffolding the way that it looks. I think it's it's far too yellow. It, for me, it's not not super useful. Doesn't work as a table. Doesn't work as a window. I just it's a very odd, very odd texture. It might work if I was building something under the new bamboo blocks, but we got scaffolding before we got the new bamboo blocks. So my first, my early assessment of it was not that useful for building. I've seen other people use it and it works. I think the other thing too is that I've just been spending so much time in a medieval area where everything is so muted. That just looks like a hat. How do I make this not look like a hat? That's a little bit better. Maybe we do spruce for fences. I think that's different enough that it doesn't look like it's a weird street light. I think it looks like it has a separate purpose, like different, smaller, right? How did I do the, um, the horse hookups earlier? Okay. So we did like two of those in the fence gate. Cause that could be useful too. Maybe in like this kind of space. Maybe we'll try something a little bit lighter.
really it would be a horizontal bar, but we don't really have those in Minecraft, unfortunately. That feels kind of bulky. Signs, maybe? I guess hanging signs might actually work. That could be a thing, too. So the top kind of blends in with the wall. So we used, I think that's andesite. What if we use a, a trapdoor instead? Still think we have to go with a dark oak fence just because it's uh, a little hard to see. Oh, maybe we can try a gate and open it. So there's two. Nope, that looks very strange. Also too high. That's good enough for now. Ray Hole, hello, welcome back. I think that works. That really pulls your eye over to look in this direction. Yeah, makes you think there could be something here. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I think I'm happy with this. I don't think it needs too much. I don't want to overdo it. And then here, now that we've kind of redesigned this corner a little bit to be a little sharper, I think I can do the same sort of thing here that, that I did over there and just kind of kind of rough up the edge a bit. So I'm going to put away some stuff here. Uh, I need moss and I have carpet. I just need more of these brown blocks again. I really wish they would come up with a fun way to have renewable sand. You know, people in the chat talking about renewable resources. I think that would be a real game changer. I think the trick there is they have to make it difficult to get to. I think that if they just give it to the players, then it's a little bit too easy for something that people have been wanted for something like that for such a long time.
So this should be pretty straightforward. And then we just add a little bit of moss in behind it. I didn't bring concrete. Yeah, if husks just dropped sand, I think that might be a little bit on the too easy mark. I feel like, I mean, if they could, sure, but I feel like the drop rate would be, it just, it doesn't seem all that interesting, right? Because then people just make a, they just make a, Drown or uh, not drowned uh, a husk farm, right? We'll have to have a farm of some sort. Yeah, no, I think that um, I think that it would need something like that. We talked about it on the sponge chunks where um, we the mace could smash stuff, but that involves player involvement, right? Grandpa Crafter is hoping that the heavy core leads to a new workstation that grinds cobblestone gravel sand. Yeah, that could be cool. Yeah. Or like, um, cause right now the grindstone is meant for grinding enchantments. It doesn't actually do anything to, um, to other things in the game. So imagine something like a grindstone, a heavy core and some wood that could get you some workstation block. You know, I can't think of any other thing that they could make out of glass in the game either, you know, unless they introduce like glass dishes or something. I'm just thinking like if they introduced a new profession, like a new villager, you know, like a glass smith or a glass blower or something, and then you could get sand by trading with them or by grinding glass down into sand or something like that. Glass trap doors. There you go, Ray Hole. That would be good. That would be good. So this feels really empty. So I feel like I need to put a bush or something, just like we have a bush over here. I'm wondering though if I could do something more interesting and maybe create like a sunken bush type thing. So it's not gonna look like a bush. Maybe it'll look more like a, um, like a patch of some sort of like thistles or something. I don't know. We might be able to get away with this. Great. 
granite. Yeah. Just so it looks like it wouldn't be fun or easy to walk across. That's all. And then we just come in here and just change as many of the sides as we can to moss. So it's a little seamy, but then if we come in here with some carpets, I wonder if we got a desert update with meerkats, if they would add renewable sand so players don't destroy the cool new areas. That's a really cool idea, Way for Night. Yeah. Yeah, if they added... Um, what, what would be... Is there a sand block that we... I mean, there's already a lot of sandstone. Like, it's, it's not like it's lacking. Because it's got smooth and it's got stairs and slabs and both regular and smooth. And um, there's red sand versions, that kind of stuff. Uh, with two tall grass coming out of a hole look good. I don't know. Let's find out. I've never done that before, Grandpa Crafter. Outside of the swamps, I have not done that. Full inventory. I wasn't paying attention. Normally that happens a lot sooner. Mm, I don't know. That's a little bit weird. Uh, a fern might look okay. It could also be just that particular location. If we try to get one where the block's a little bit more in the middle. I don't know. I feel like the, the block dropping down like that is weird to me. What else can we put here? There's roots, like mangrove roots. There's muddy mangroves. And mossy cobble is another thing. So like maybe in places like this, we could also put in this kind of thing. That's working. I like that. Yeah, that feels more like what it should be. Such a major resource to be missing from the renewables. We got renewable clay before we got sand. Yeah, that's a really good, really good uh, note. He knocked your drink out the window? <laughs> How does that work? Did somebody below get very wet and very angry? 
Adding on that says Bo Doba making a sand ball like there is a clay ball and having a new armadillo mob leave sand balls after breeding would be cool. I don't know about sand ball. Sand ball doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. And I don't, breeding new animals is not really, I think, the solution. I think a fun way to do it would be to utilize the new crafter and combine that with existing mechanics. So I would imagine if you got renewable sand, it might come in the form of a trade with a villager. Or for example, if we got something new, like Grandpa Crafter was talking about, something that ground sand down into, um, or sorry, ground glass down into sand, then you could trade with villagers for glass, which I think you could do now, and then use the glass to get renewable sand. Yeah, no added way to get renewable sand. Uh, we have a data pack on the server that lets us dye sand. It's just red dye and um, red dye and uh, and sand, and you get red sand. So that helps out. The data pack is a really good solution for that. That's um, Vanilla Tweaks data pack, I think. Yeah, I think that works, actually. I think that fills up the space, and it you don't look at that and go, I can walk across this. You know? I don't think this is going to look good because it's going to be brown, but... You know, it's not awful. It would be cool to do this. I just don't think here is where I want to do it. I'll try to remember that for some other time, though. I can't think of anything else. I don't want to put pink petals down. Glow like, unfortunately, is just super bright with my shaders, so that won't work. I don't even know if I have glow like. At least not out here. See, this is where it would be nice to put vines on the ground. It would be really cool to add in a couple of vines here and there, you know? That would be ideal. All right, I think that uh, that works pretty well. So really it's about, you know, what are we gonna do in this giant space? And then there's less to do here until we get around the corner. It's more about this area between here, here and the road is, is empty. We can probably fill this in and tweak this a little bit so that it looks better. And then I don't know what to do here. So this is like a separate idea too. I feel like we could probably put a tree, put a tree here. And if we did, if it was there, it would be kind of like in between that space. I just don't want it to cover up too much of that tower, right? So maybe it has to be a little bit off to the left. Yeah, because then it would be like right here, which would be good. So... If I was to put a tree, maybe like right back here. Does anybody remember exactly how to make big trees? It's got something to do with a slab, right? I've tried this before and I don't remember exactly how it went. I, re I agree. I think they should update vines as well. We've got the vine, um, what's it called? The vine growth cycle. Mm. 
vine spread. Do vine spread. We have it turned off on the server so that you can just place vines where you want them to go. Glass block on the diagonal one or two blocks up. Is it glass or is it a um, slab? Or do both work? Using silverfish CJ is a neat idea for renewable sand. Giving a mob that doesn't have much use, more use. And you think that was Tarsiris' idea too? Okay, cool. Oh no, mini packs. That's too bad. Window is near the work area and just lean over and out goes the drink. I've done that on my balcony when I was barbecuing. I've dropped dropped my barbecue tongs like straight down to the to the ground. I had to go outside, go down three floors, pick them up, come back up. It's fine. It's not a big deal. It just I felt kind of embarrassed for whatever reason. I don't know why. So maybe I want to actually do this a little bit higher. Let's just put a fake trunk down. Coarse sand would be a good idea. That's not a bad idea, yeah. Adding some sand texture. All right, so a tree there would probably block the tower at first. But then it would it's behind the gate anyway, but it would not block the tower from here, which is good. And then from here, it would be kind of between between the two things, the two towers. It would sort of block that. Depends on how high it gets, I guess. And is it too far south, maybe? Where did you come from? I may want to move it a little bit farther north. Or farther south. Like, it might be better off to bump it over into this area. This is why we test these things out first. Because these things are a pain to chop down if you don't like them. I'm going to leave this one block here just because that's where I put the original. I think I might like it there better. We'll see what we get. And maybe just to see if we get a little extra height out of it, we could try planting it up there. That's probably good. That's a big tree. We 
we may want to prune that. Of course, I'm not going to be able to see anything at night. Walk of shame to go retrieve it. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, mini packs. That's pretty good. I kind of like the fact that it's tall because it now kind of does a wipe reveal over the uh, over the main gate. I guess you'll see the main gate from back here. Yeah. So it's like, here's what it is. It's nice and big and tall. But when you get close enough where you want to see details, I mean, again, in the dark, it's going to be hard to see. But as you get close enough, you see, like, I want to see what that tower looks like. But then you've got this tree in the way. But then as you kind of walk around it, it might be a little bit too tall. I probably would have been okay just growing that right from the ground. But at least we've got some wiggle room now. I do find that um, spruce custom trees are easier than oak custom trees. The whole idea behind this growing it taller was that we could now remove this, right? And then just fill this in and have it be just a little bit larger. And then maybe instead of this on the back, we do like a slab or something. And this is where we can start to mess with the trunk so it's not so straight. That's a little bit, a little bit low. So maybe we'll just increase that height a little bit. I definitely want to take a bit off the top and fill it out a little bit. But I think that could work. I don't know if I've made it too close to the path. Maybe we can get rid of this. This is where just a little bit of scaffolding comes in handy. One and only J or Ja, welcome in. Thanks for, thanks for the follow. Can't do it. Let's 
So it definitely needs some work. I feel like this could be more of a custom branch. That just feels so thick. Maybe it would be better to just have that go straight out. M4J013. Thanks very much. Really appreciate that. We've been here here a while. Three and a half years working in the area. And uh, a lot of it lately has been all these um, environmental details, which it's slow going. It's a lot of trial and error. I find that the, the buildings come together a lot faster. Although that took a few streams too. All right, what would happen? Well, first I need to dump some inventory here. Let's just take maybe two blocks off the top of the tree. Yeah. I'll keep the same shape. So I'll just cut down. down like that and then we might be able to leave some of this no maybe not and this would go down something like that maybe So just see what that feels like. Now, the cool thing is I can use the camera I can hide in here. I think that's pretty good, especially if we came back over on this side and filled this out a bit more. Cosmic, thank you very much. Appreciate it.
M4, yeah, it does take a long time. And I think that's one of the things that people get wrong about Minecraft is that they rush it. And if you just um, submit or resign yourself to know that the thing that you're doing is probably going to take a while, then I think that you get less frustrated. What do we think? I mean, I keep on asking that in the dark. I like the path. The path now kind of gives you something to look at. This is going to be a cool angle too. I didn't even realize that I was framing it. That's cool. Nice to have a foreground element that's taller than the thing behind it. Although it's right in the way of the waterfall. That's a pain. Well, I guess once you turn the corner here, you're fine. And again, happy accident. Like if that's where the waterfall goes, we've, we've framed it. <laughs> you know, we've got an element here and an element there. I swear, sometimes those are happy accidents. And sometimes I feel like I'm subconsciously doing it without realizing it. I think sometimes people compare their progress to full-time content makers. And of course they built a lot more in a week because it's their job. No, I, I make sure I, I mention uh, that this is my job as often as I can, or part of my job. Really it's, it's a split 50, 50 between uh, podcasting and Twitch streaming, but yeah, yeah, that's a big tree. Well, you know what? From back here, it's not too bad. Not too bad. It could be a little bit shorter, maybe. I like the cool shape of it. I think what it needs to happen is see how we've got this oval on the top out this way. I think what I want to do is I want to create another oval, but lower. So it has sort of like a, like an S shape, I guess would be what I'm, what I'm going for. I find this is the easiest way to do custom trees is to, to grow a big one or grow a small one if that's what you want and then trim it and add to it rather than trying to come up with, you know, just random stuff on your own. And then sometimes you just have trees that are just around. I don't think I grew that one. I think that one was there. Like the layers as you walk towards town. Thanks. Yeah, that's part of the idea. Well, I should step away for another break so I don't get too uh, over the mark here. Thanks for, again for the reminder, Cosmic. I think that's pretty good. Yeah. It's one of those things where, pardon the pun, it needs to grow on you a little bit. So uh, give me a few minutes, folks. Just going to grab another drink. By all means, share the stream around with your friends. I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
Looks pretty good from this angle, too. I'm just going to pop a few more leaves on the other side of that, and I think I'm going to let it be for now. And we'll come back and finish up the details later. I think I'd rather finish the path. Don't know if that's enough. That's the right direction. So you feel like this side we might want to lower a bit. Whoops. Oh, I didn't want to fall all the way down here. Yeah, it's getting there. It's a little, little on the perfect side in terms of the shape. It's a little bit too, too much like a geometric shape as opposed to a more natural tree, but we can mess with that as time goes on. All right, let's sleep. See you later, Grandpa Crafter. Thanks so much for being here. You're probably gone by now. Wafer Knight saying that you often leave your large trees when you're clearing an area and then just edit them later. That's a smart way to go, too. Feels very natural, I would imagine. Okay, let's just leave that. Um, I can tell my brain is just not ready to do a custom tree right now. Bushes. So we need our dirt blocks back. I don't think there was too much I want to change about this, so I'll just make the switch to coarse dirt. And then I'll worry about changing it afterwards. Whoops. There are definitely some things in Minecraft, like doing a little ditch like this just makes me want to do some sort of like cool custom ravine or something like that where it's a little bit more um, your own imagination and less thematic. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun in the sci-fi area.
I should have done this before I built the tree because now the tree is covering up a section of the, the path. I think the only thing here is that this needs to get a little bit bigger. Yeah, it's not bad. It looks a little bit funny because the tree's hiding it, but... If nothing else, I feel like maybe this could be a little wider here. And then maybe a little wider here. Yeah. Definitely create some shadow with the tree, that's for sure. What I should do is move some of this stone. Tend to clear and just add saplings and then hit bone meal with them later. Yeah, that, that works too. That works too. We're going to have the same trouble with this as we did these other paths, is that they're only a couple of blocks wide. So it's easy to over texture. We'll go with this here. there. The Slim Fady. That's a fun username. Welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. Hope you're enjoying your Saturday. I feel like that looks like footpaths. Jay Christ, a wizard arrives neither late nor early. Pre arrives precisely when he means to. One of my favorite quotes.
we might be able to do something fun here with um, uh, soul sand Could, to make it look like the rough soil underneath the tree. I think that's what I used before. Oh no, it was um, rooted dirt and soul soil. No, muddy mangrove roots. Sorry, my bad. Muddy mangrove roots. And soul soil. Full inventory. Joy. Just when I'm trying to see what I'm doing, it decides to do more, more rain. I don't think I want to come right up to the path, but maybe we should. Now here is where we might be able to get away with some roots, perhaps. This is probably going to be better off as a azalea bush. The M3WP, man, I'm telling you, it really does rain too much in Minecraft. That's a, that's a shift since they changed the way that sleeping affected the weather. I am not a fan. Maybe not there. And then here, we could either do muddy roots, or not muddy roots, just regular roots, or actually have like a drop. I like doing stuff like this sometimes because I get, make it look like the root is going down into the earth. Also gives a little bit of an edge here. can also do it this way. That might actually work better. Or there's this. Which I don't know if that works so much there as we could probably push that farther in. 
because that's got like a darker texture. So maybe we do that there and then back in here. I drop this in. I have a log I do. I think this might be better off with rooted dirt underneath it or muddy mangrove roots. So many different names to remember. Uh, that doesn't really work. Yeah, you could waterlog the stairs if you wanted to make it a puddle, too. Very true. Uh, slab and more room in my inventory, please. Just curious if a slab over here would look good. It might be better in that area. This still feels kind of empty. What I wouldn't give for different kinds of slabs for wood. Maybe we need to switch those. that or maybe we just don't have the pressure plate at all maybe i can stick that down the other end somewhere no that's a little bit weird Moss there. And then we can do the same thing around the edge here where we rough this up a bit. I'm surprised how effective this is.
I've got to remember to make more cracked bricks. I feel like I've laid almost my entire stock right now. Felt light the last time I was in the shulker box. These look like they're kind of random. So it feels like a very straight line. Maybe this needs to be put in there. That's a little bit better. Crack tiles, crack tiles. I don't remember if crack tiles. I mean, crack tiles would be too dark, but, but yeah, I think that's a thing. You can do cracked deep slate bricks. I don't think crack tiles are a thing. If they are, they're like indistinguishable. Uh, I don't have any deep slate on me. Tile. Yeah, I don't have any deep slate out here, I don't think. Nope. Oh. How is the sun going down again already? Need a printed catalog? Yeah. Sometimes you can type, like, general blocks you can type in, but blocks that you have to make in, like, the stone cutter or a furnace, you can't just look them up unless you're in creative. I mean, like, I'm admin. I can flip over to creative and look it up. It does look a little bit better sometimes when it's not as busy. Well, this needs some adjusting for sure. That's pretty good. I'm looking for something that maybe help me transition from this out to the other blocks. Fortunately, I feel like that's too much like a wood texture. I guess I could do coarse dirt. It's a little closer in, in kind of like pa pixel pattern to the moss.
That's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. I like that. That's fun. I wonder if this should be that or maybe maybe even soul soil. I know this is really picky, but sometimes it's worth it. We're not walking on this, so it's not like it's going to slow us down. Yeah, that's not bad. I think I use soul soil and soul sand in the other trees that I've done. Just want to go check. I know I first started doing it over here. Yeah, there's both here. And then I did it again over here. Works a lot better for uh, spruce trees. I find it looks like pine needles. And it goes really well with the, the spruce bark. Yeah. I find the dark oak planks and the spruce bark make for better custom trees. I have to really stretch my brain to not see oak planks when I'm doing a custom uh, spruce planks I'm doing a custom oak tree oh you know what we could use here is uh, either a pressure plate or a button it just needs a little bit more geometry happening right Too much. CBK, hello, hello, welcome in. I feel like we've used that combo a lot. I'm not sure if using bark 
this close to the tree is going to read the same. Yeah, it kind of reads as the same. I definitely struggle with wanting one more brown texture. I know we've got mangrove, but I feel like that's going to be the wrong one. All of these are too dark. Brown mushroom block is the right tone for what I want, but it's just, it doesn't have enough texture. It's so flat. Yeah, even that feels like it's a little bit much. That's pretty good, you know? I think anything more is going to be a little bit overkill. Might be able to slide something else in here. That's pretty good. It's just a matter of filling in the rest of these. Helping the edge a little bit. Getting low on moss. Yeah, the leaves falling is a really nice touch. It's a cool mod. Nighttime again. Rabelais, long time no see. Hope you're having a good Saturday, good weekend. Doesn't look quite as good next to the spruce. Oops.
It's a little bit better. Felt strange and through here. Yeah, thinking that works. So now it's just those little touches about the edges. Trying to guide the player a little bit. I find that these help quite a bit. The tree obviously takes care of this side. Yeah. So I'll worry about the grass and stuff next time. Like all the tall grass and the bushes and things. Cause I, I don't know. I feel like what happens in this area, I need to figure out what's going to be here. I don't yet know. It could just be something like that. Just like a, a bush or things like that. But I'm happy with, especially the base. I really like the base part of this. It's just a matter of tweaking the top. And then I guess really you don't want to have anything in this space. Like you just want this to be low. Uh, what we could do is more of this kind of stuff, maybe something a little bit larger. I like this as like a small proof of concept as like thistles or like, I don't know, just a rocky outcrop or something that would be a pain in the butt to walk across like pebbles and maybe sharp rocks, like that kind of stuff. So then we have something like that kind of in this area here, not in line with the tree, but maybe like around here, you know, kind of like right where I'm standing, maybe off to the side a little bit. Anything that might suggest a reason as to why the road moved, you know, like why didn't they just go straight at the gate, you know? Um, I mean, that tree is a good reason to go around. The other thing we could do is we could put a rock here. Right. We could do something like that. It it feels a little bit of a easy cop out and it overlaps some stuff I'm not really fond of, so I don't want necessarily that there, but we could combine maybe like a rock embedded in the ground with some of that rocky outcrop stuff. So like same idea. And then we could put some of that stuff around it. Maybe just a slab would be good there. Maybe some pressure plates. That kind of stuff could work too. Don't have the inventory space to mess around. we could make something there that would be low profile but feel impassable that could be work worth it i don't know that this area is that developed that a bench would would make sense i did think it would be fun to do something uh on one of the trees over here like we've got this great big tree over there and it's really close to this farmhouse or one of these farmhouses and if not that tree uh it could be really fun to put like a swing on it you know like for kids that could be kind of a fun little touch of life uh, but if not that one then i think maybe maybe another tree in the backyard or something would work that kind of thing would be fun fountain doesn't make any sense because this is outside in the wilderness it's not like part of the town um we've got wells we don't really do fountains and that's just because that the level of development for me is uh is low i like this idea i like this idea of like a low a low mossy sort of thing happening here
Yeah, we'll figure it out. And then we can also do the um, the bushes too. Yeah, proof of concept. I think if we make that larger with some slabs and stuff, that could be fun. Something there to look at and walk around, but not really invade the space not going to block the wheat farm not going to block the tree bottom that i like uh not going to get in the way of like the base of the this stuff i kind of want to be able to see where you're going i know my shulker boxes are all the way right now but when you're coming around the corner here i wanted to be very clear that you can go in four different directions but anyway uh, i think that is where i need to wrap things up I uh, really appreciate everyone hanging out today. It's been a fun afternoon. A little bit late of a start. I had to uh, do some family stuff earlier, which is fine. Like, you know, not a bad thing. Just uh, nice that when you're your own boss, you can just bump the stream by an hour and that way you can get to spend the time that you need to spend doing the family things and then you can just, you know, work, work later rather than jumping at a specific time, which is always good. You can put those over there. Uh, we recorded some extra bonus stuff for our patrons on the spawn chunks today. So if you are a patron, uh, you can look for that later. Probably tomorrow is when that's going to go live on the patron only feed. You can, of course, follow the spawn chunks on your favorite podcast app. And that goes for the Citadel Cafe as well, which is something else I have to do is edit the Citadel Cafe this weekend. Get that out for everybody. And uh, lots of fun happening on the podcasts as of late. All of those are available on your favorite podcasting platform. Very easy to find. Uh, what am I looking for here? I guess that. And I'm easy to find on social media. You can check me out at Joel Duggan on Instagram, on Twitter. That is where I post when I go live. So if you are worried about missing a stream, then follow me on social media and you will absolutely catch all of them. Although... Outside of small delays, they are generally at 1 o'clock Atlantic, Thursday through Sunday. That is when you can expect those. Uh, I think we did pretty well today. Uh, the sun is going down, but I'll flip on the shaders. And you can see this is feeling a little bit more natural as you're coming in to, um, to the area. The bushes in the ground don't work so well depending on the angle of the sun. They tend to catch the light very heavily. See, now it looks okay. Um, so it's a little bit tricky tricky there so we can do um, probably more of this dirt around the side here and then that'll be done and then we just have to figure out what's happening here so we're almost done with the crossroads it's just now these areas these fields in front of the the walls that i have to worry about uh that'll be not difficult just time consuming to to sort out but uh yeah should be good uh, i'll be back tomorrow one o'clock atlantic that's utc minus four hours last time that i checked i'm going to pass you on to tadpole milk who is doing their first charity stream i believe it is for gamers outreach yes it is so you can by all means go on to hang out with tadpole um share the stream with friends and uh, i'll see you tomorrow thanks again to the mods thanks again for all the support bye for now